Yeah, this lady came back into the hotel. She said, I can't believe it. I've just seen a, a dead cat just, just lying in the road. I said, well, it's hardly been running around, is it? That's um, quite a place, this Tunisia. And I uh, clocked hold of two girls. They, they kept coming into the cafeteria for dinner and breakfast and disappearing off. And you couldn't find them in the hotel at all. So on day three, I clocked up, clocked over them. And these two here, I can't remember their names now, but they uh, basically, every time they went out of the hotel, they just got hassled and hassled and hassled. So I said, come along with us and we'll uh, be fine if you come with us. And we went out down around the town and it was all fine. You know, it was a big group, it was, it was no problem. So then we went over to El Gem and uh, that's this place here, rather, rather fantastic place to have a good visit. And then over to the holy city of Caravan where we went for a cup of tea and anybody who's been over to those sort of places probably encountered them wretched carpet salesmen who insist on you buying a carpet that you really don't want and uh, there'd be mistakes on there and they'll say oh yeah you can tell it's handmade because there's, a, there's an error there an error there I think it's just that they made a mistake and couldn't be bothered to fix it so uh, I ended up having to buy this just to just to uh, keep him happy a little bit and it's one of these uh, magic camels and the idea is that you you pour in some water at the top here and then turn it over and then you can pour some water in the bottom and that's oh, all right bloody hell he sold me a dodgy one that's why he had a big smile on his face eh? 